In this video, we will cover how to perform a control test of the testing strips which are used with the Glucomen Aereo and Aereo 2K meters. I recommend you do this when you first get your machine and opening a new pot of test strips. The content of this video is put forth as entertainment purposes only and this creator makes no claims, promises or guarantees about the accuracy, completeness or adequacy of the procedures and instructions contained therein. The creator of this content expressly disclaims liability for errors and omissions that any viewers of this video might declare that exist in the information as presented. No liability exists or can be ascribed to this content creator in the event of any accident or injury that might occur as a result of improper application or understanding of the procedures and information contained in this video. The control test ensures your test strips are performing within the acceptable limits with your machine. If we look in the Glucomen Aereo manual, you should conduct a control test if you suspect the meter is not working properly, the meter has been dropped, the meter is damaged, your blood glucose results do not match how you feel, you want to check the performance of your meter and test strips when you first get them, I would recommend you do a control test every time you open a new pot of test strips. If we look in the Glucomen Aereo 2K meter manual, you should conduct a control test if you suspect the meter is not working correctly, the meter has been dropped, and the meter is damaged, your blood glucose results do not match how you feel, you want to check the performance of your meter and test strips when you first get them. So these instructions are identical for both the Aero and the Aero 2K. Again, I would recommend you do a control test every time you open a new pot of test strips. Now let's show you how to perform a control test with both meters. You need a clean, hard, dry surface. Here I'm using a mobile phone glass screen protector. You can use any clean, dry, hard surface. Your Glucomen Aero meter, your test strips and the control solution. Our solution here is marked with the letter N for November in a green circle. If we take our test strips, make sure they are for our Aereo machine. Once you open your test strips, you should write the date in the space here on the pot. If we look here at the bottom, it says Control N and Control H. In this instance, our control solution is N, so we should get a reading between 5.6 and 7 millimoles per litre. Here we have our control solution. Check the expiry date and ensure it is for our aerial machine. Inside we have a detailed instruction leaflet and I would advise everyone to read this. The main points are that the solution should be stored between 4 and 30 degrees Celsius, do not refrigerate, keep out of direct sunlight and do not use after the expiry date. We have to remember and do not use this three months after first opening. On your control solution bottle, write the date on the side which you first opened it. Now let's get into the testing procedure. Check which solution you have. In this case we have the N solution and if we see on the side of the test strip pot control solution N should give us a reading between 5.6 and 7 millimoles per litre. The first step is to insert the glucose test strip into the top of the meter like so. Then, on the right hand side of the meter, press the up and down button simultaneously. As you can see here, the letters CTL appear on the screen, indicating we are ready for a control test. We need to gently shake the control solution first. We then open our bottle and gently squeeze a drop out. Here I'm squeezing one drop and then a further drop. We will use a second drop. 
We touch the window of the glucose test strip against the solution and the test strip should automatically take it up. Once we have done this, the meter has a countdown from 5 to 1. As we can see here, our reading is 6.4 millimoles per litre. And if we look on the side of our pot, the reading is between 5.6 and 7 millimoles per litre, meaning our meter and strips are working correctly. We then discard our used test strips. We're done. Let's now see this with the Aerial 2K machine. We use precisely the same procedure. Shake the bottle. Insert our test strip into the machine. We can see the drop flashing on the screen. Press the two buttons on the right hand side down simultaneously. Then we can see the letters CTL indicating we are ready for a control test. Shake our bottle and discharge a drop onto the surface. In this case, I will discharge two drops and I will use the second. Touch the test strip onto the solution. Again, we have a countdown from 5 down to 1. Our reading is 6.5 and if we look on the side of our pot, this reading is between 5.6 and 7, meaning our meter and strips are working correctly. Remove our test strip and discard. Now we are done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.